All right, we are back. This looks fantastic. Oh, thank you. We're going to make a fun cocktail. Now, this is going to be one of a classic cocktail. I'm sure you've had this many times. Um, But I think it's fun to teach uh, because it's such a easy, easy, easy cocktail, especially to make at home. It's fun. So you said you got a bottle of this for your birthday. I did. That's badass. I loved it. What do you think of it? I think it's fantastic. Well, it's empty. Okay, so you did like it. (laughs) You really liked it. So we enjoyed it, yeah. I think Paul Taylor helped me with that bottle. (laughs) Or Rachel Bullen, one of those guys. So we actually, when we had Paul on the show, we used the 1856 bourbon. Okay. So um, the the Uncle Nearest. So this is the rye. So this is 100 proof rye. Now, rye and me usually, I I feel like when I have a lot of ryes, I feel like I've been slapped in the face. It's, It's not really my thing, but this... Is very nice, okay. I will say. So it is one of probably my favorites. So we um, could just like put a straw in that bottle, right? Here. And just drink it. Okay, great. Mm. Drink it up. <laughs> but for uh, for cocktail purposes, we're gonna do something nice. Okay, so I'm gonna okay. teach you how to do this. Okay, great. So it's gonna be easy. So I like that it. is yours. Great. Okay, and this is gonna be your set. I love it. Okay, I'll start you off with some ice. So the first thing we're gonna do is put ice in here, and I just wash my hands with their clean. Perfect. Okay, great. So. Um, this is going to be easy because there's no shaking. We're just going to stir this cocktail. We're making old fashions. Oh, great. Yes. Great. So this is going to be a lot of fun. And technically, if you really want to start out, which I mean, no one cares about this, it's fine. But if you really want to start out making it the right way, you put, um, your ingredients first, then you put the spirit, then you put the ice. Got it. But um, we're just gonna do it our way. Yeah. So um, there's gonna be two ounces of this okay. in this cocktail. So I'm gonna make one for me and Dan. So I'm gonna Thanks, do babe. some more. Okay. But after I'm done using this, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna do them just like you guys. Okay. Years. Yep, for sure. So you're actually only gonna do two ounces, which is one side of this jigger. So flip it over to the big side. Yep. And you're gonna fill it to the top, and then you're gonna pour two ounces in. Okay. Oh, look at you. You're like a pro oh, already. I call it the angry pour. Okay, <laughs> the angry okay, pour. So that. Awesome. Okay, so this is a little bit of simple syrup. Okay. Okay, so this is very easy. You can make it at home. It's just half sugar, half water. Oh, okay. Until it's diluted. Yep. I make so many simples. You can make like a strawberry or a berry, blueberry, anything. It's all the same. You just Love add it. some sugar, add some water, and then if you add fruit to it, you wait until it turns color, okay. and then you take the berries out. And you strain it. it. Okay. So this will stay small side. small side. You're going to do half pour. Like you're going to see oh, a little see line. See, see that line? line? Yep. You're going to go halfway. That's a half an ounce. And this will stay in your fridge for like a month. Really? Mm-hmm. Simple right. syrup will stay for a long time. Okay, cool. So it's very, very nice. And it's like so it. easy to make. It's basically just sugar, sugar water. Sugar water. Sugar water. Got it. Okay. Got a little mason jar for, you know, Tennessee. Yeah. Um, so then we're going to add some Angostura bitters. Every bar has these. Got it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's for me. You're going to add three. three. And I just realized that I forgot Dan Simple Syrup. Sorry, babe. It's okay, babe. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So we're done with that. You're going to next take that bar spoon. Yep. Stir it up. Yeah, you're going to stir it for a while. So, like this. Good job. I know it's tricky. What well, ice. It's yeah. live. It's all right. <laughs> it's live. I can do it. <laughs> so, as it starts to, you know, it's the tin starting to get cold. Yep. Yeah, your fingers feel like they're going to say, my left hand's freeze. frozen. Yeah, they're frozen. Okay. It's about ready. Okay, great. Okay, awesome. So you're just going to take that out. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to put that on that towel. So I yep, sure. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to take our strainers, put it on top, and yep. I got the glasses, so I have nice. little skull ice cubes. Love it. Yes. And are we doing the whole thing? Uh, you're going to put the whole thing on it. Yep. Tell me when. Ready? You can, yep. We are good. Oh, that looks fantastic. Awesome. I'm hired. You're hired. You did with, it. I'm going to come work with you. Yeah, come work with me. It'll be <laughs> right. fun. We'll make lots of money. <laughs> okay, so the cool thing is is that most people don't really know that because uh, most people, when they have old fashions, they use bourbon, but they're right. usually made with rye. Okay. So um, that being said, um, it's usually a lot of people like it if you do it over a large ice cube. Mm-hmm. Um, that being the fact that it doesn't dilute as much. 
Got it. So we have these little skull ice cubes. Yeah. They're okay. They turn out yeah. okay. You're talking about like those big, the big ball, yes. the big square. Yes, Got exactly. It. Okay. Um, but for this one, I have the skulls. They they come out pretty good. Yeah. Kind of cute. I'll get some pictures of it, sure. and then we can garnish it with an orange. So if you're gonna peel this, I'll let you do it. Yeah, just. I'll peel it. And I don't always. Yeah, it looks dangerous. Makes babe. Be the, careful. <laughs> I've seen many of bartenders go to the ER because. Yeah, see that'd be me. They have. Mm-hmm. They've uh, kind of. And yeah. yours looks nice too. See, I wouldn't have been. Okay, so you put it around the whole rim of the glass. Yes. Oh, get a little fantastic. bit of the oils out. Oh my God! I should have lit these on fire. That would have been so much fun. I like fire. Yeah. <sighs> fire. It's actually really easy to light these on yeah. fire. Is it really? Yep. You just take it and. Um, I could show you at some other point. Maybe, okay. maybe when we're, after we're talking with this, you take it and you, you like kind of twist it and you express the peel and you light the fire. Like you really? have like a, a lighter yeah. and you express the peel and you'll watch literally the orange oils go out and it'll go. Psh. Wow. And it does taste a little bit different when you do that. I'm sure. So, um, but yeah, so if you're ever going to peel this at home, guys, uh, just take the fruit and pull it away from you. Oh, wow. Don't do that. Just doesn't do that idea. Uh huh. And like I said, I've seen at least three bartenders say, see, go to the hospital. I do, I yeah, and like I said, this I don't. This would have been a whole different show had I done that. I don't. <laughs> yeah, we, I don't think we had got like a first aid kit laying around. You know what I'm saying? It turns into like. I mean, our first aid kit is like <laughs> band aids. Leave it rolling though. Spray. You know what I'm saying? We get all the paramedics in here and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, all so. Right. I'm gonna give Dan this one. Oh, cheers. thanks, babe. We're gonna cheers. This oh, smells shit. good. Oh shit! Let me ask. All right. Oh, it sure does. That right? could be a candle. <laughs> cheers! <laughs> and thank you guys cheers. for having me. Awesome. Yes, thank you for coming on the show. Yeah. Now you know team. how to make this at home. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's great. Very nice. See, this is yeah, refreshing. Perfect. Fantastic. And that, see, oh, yeah, and that I rye so. is so fucking. That's really good. good. Yeah. Hell yeah, baby. And good like job. I said, most rye's are like super spicy. Yeah. And I just I have to be in the right, you know, frame of mind. Sure. So it's if I'm gonna have That's it. That's delicious. Mm. But most of the time when I try a rye, I'm like, I've been smacked. I've been smacked yep. with the spice. Yep. I'm like, I can't take that. So Thank you. I love one, it. Right? I love yeah. it. Yeah, this is awesome. really good. Babe. I'll make this. Yep. Hell yeah. So and now it's really easy. And if you don't want to peel this, you can just cut a slice and put it right in there. Right, right, easy. right. Or okay. just put it on the top of it. But love you get it. that freshness, get those oils. Yeah. And these bitters, God, these bitters are like, you can get them anywhere. They're like 10 bucks. Great. And they're a part good, of every man. like home bar. So we're not sponsored, but we could be. We could be. Mango, just let <laughs> just you know. Hint, just hint. saying. Putting out there just in the saying. universe. Yeah, for anything. Um, <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs>